punctured and slashed damaged car tires add to the frustration of neighbors in this Park Heights community. Along the 3700 block of Reisertown Road in northwest Baltimore, they have endured as someone fired random gunshots and keyed vehicles. There were footprints from the hood all the way to the trunk, and my hood sank in because someone had just jumped on top of it. The repairs are costly and the problems are menacing. They allege one person is behind it all, and they say this started in June when a former neighbor was forced to leave his home. His wife, who we are not identifying, has a protective order to keep him away. But she claims he recently assaulted her a block from her home. Uh, hit me all in my eye, knocked me to the ground, hit me all in my eye. She says she lives in fear, especially since the vacant house next door caught fire. And I smelled gasoline. And when I came out, my bedroom door, I went back in and came back out again. I said, Jack, I smell gasoline. And by the time I was going to come downstairs, I started seeing smoke. The fire department says it's under investigation. We're trying to stave this off before someone gets seriously hurt. Will Hanna is the president of the New Park Heights Development Corporation. He and others in the community are posting flyers, trying to take action and get some relief. The neighbors allege this man, Stephen Reed, their former neighbor, is behind the vandalism. Their only proof? Residents' claims of seeing him in the area late at night prior to incidents so, happening. When he came closer to my house, I saw that it was him. And so I said, why are you out here, Steve? It's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And then he ran. Neighbors tell us after each incident that happened over the past two months, they had contacted officers here at the Northwestern District. Police tell us they were aware of the situations and they had been actively searching for him. The neighbors call it a public safety matter. They hope police can resolve it soon. In Park Heights, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.